in some courses of study as well, you have to be aware of the properties that certain metals have in the transition block of the periodic table. So what we'll do is we'll take the, the first block, the D block, the first D block on the periodic table, transition elements right here, here's the D block right here, and going from scandium to zinc. So I've just listed those elements, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc in a row there, and drawn an arrow this way. Okay, because we have to talk about certain properties that these elements have. Now, because they have d orbitals, um, there can be some very interesting properties that these elements actually have with being able to put electrons and take electrons out of those locations. Um, interestingly, the, well, think about this. All of them would have an electron configuration going across here. Argon being the common one, which says 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 2s2, 3p6, all the way to there. And then, they would be 4s2 and then 3d something, scandium being 3d1, 3d2, 3d3, 3d4, 3d5, 3d6, 3d7, 3d8, 3d10 here, and 3d10 for copper too, remember? Because it's actually an exception, it goes 4s1, 3d10, you have to know that exception. Interestingly, those are called transition elements, yes, transition metals, but scandium, when it's a 3 positive charge, and zinc, when it's a two positive charge, aren't considered to be transition elements. Why? Because to be a transition element, you have to have that, the, these d orbitals to play with to be able to uh, have certain properties. And guess what? Scandium, when it's a three positive charge, would have its one d electron and its two four s electrons taken away. It doesn't even have, it just, it would just be a three positive charge, it would just be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, done with no d orbitals to be able to then uh, uh, make some very interesting properties for it. So scandium would be, and zinc of course, would be 3d10, 4s2s are gone to make Zn2 positive charge, so it would be argon, 3d10, and it's got totally filled 3d uh, orbitals and therefore doesn't uh, have the same type of properties that all the rest of them do. Just thought I'd mention that. Well. Okay, so what are the properties going across here for these transition elements? Well, first of all, they have an increasing two positive ion stability. What does that mean? Well, every one of them, remember, all of these here would be 3D1, 2, 3, all the way to 10. To make ions out of them, you don't take away the D electrons. You first take away the 4S electrons because those are the outermost electrons. And when you take them away, those two 4s electrons, you can turn every one of these ions into a two positive charge by removing all of their 4s electrons, leaving whatever number of 3d electrons that they have. Think about it. They all have two positive charge then, all the way across. The number of protons in the nucleus, however, is increasing as we go across, right? Scandium, all the way to zinc with 30 at 21 to 30, right? So here's the thing. More protons in the nucleus means more attraction for electrons. When you've gotten rid of the two outermost ones, you have more of a, a, a non-reactive type of metal because its outermost electrons, those 3D electrons, are being held ever the more tighter as you get more protons in the nucleus. So we have an increasing stability of those two positive ions. But we then also have a decreasing stability of the maximum oxidation state. Huh? It just means this. What is the maximum, for instance, just, give, like, just do a comparison of the two. The maximum oxidation state or the maximum positive charge that chromium has is six positive. Because what you can do, because chromium is 4s2, 3d4, you can take away all six of its outermost electrons to make a six positive charge. Mn is 3d5, you can take away all of its 7 electrons to make a 7 positive charge. Now here's the thing, those elements have now empty d orbitals and they're kind of saying, hey, you know what, I could really attract electrons to myself having a lot of places to put all kinds of electrons because I've just had all my 4s and 3d electrons taken away. 
but I've got nuclei that can really attract as I go across and have more, more protons in the nucleus, I can really attract electrons to myself and really involve myself in chemical reactions. So, we have a decreasing stability of the maximum oxidation state. They become, once you take away all their electrons, they become very vigorous in terms of the way that they can react. 